Governor Greg Abbott says that the state reported its highest number of positive COVID-19 cases in a single day today. He also said that since Memorial Day, the number of COVID-19 patients in hospitals is up by more than 1,000. But as KXAN's Maggie Glenn reports, Governor Abbott says it's important to look at the reasons behind those numbers. The increased occupancy of hospital beds, it does raise concerns. But as shown today, there is no reason right now to be alarmed. Governor Abbott is calling on the public to do their part in reducing the spread of COVID-19 as the state continues to balance reopening with managing health care. One is to wear masks. Two is to use frequent hand sanitizing. And three is to maintain these safe distancing practices. He said the recent spike in positive cases can partially be attributed to testing in prisons and nursing homes. Now that we have gotten through most of those types of congregate settings, there is reason to believe that those testing positive, the number of those testing positive, should begin to decline. But also says people in their 20s have let their guard down. There are certain counties uh, where a majority of the people People who are tested positive in that county are under the age of 30. He said state alcohol regulators are issuing a warning to bars and restaurants across the state. If there are any violations, then uh, there will be a 30 day suspension of their liquor license. State health leaders said despite the recent increase in hospitalizations, Texas is still at the lowest level of its surge capacity plan, level five, and the state is calling hospitals in different regions on a weekly basis. How are you doing your ICU capacity? Do we need to look for any alternative sites to set up for you to manage your patients? Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. The governor today also hinted at an upcoming announcement regarding schools returning in the fall. He said that could be coming as soon as next week. State health leaders also broke down available hospital beds by region. Here in the Austin area, 28% of beds are available right now. More could be made available if we move into a higher level of surge capacity. By KXAN's count, there are 28,000 active cases of COVID-19 in Texas right now. 59,000 people have recovered. Locally, we're just over 2,500 active cases and 4,800 recoveries. Several Texas mayors, including Austin Mayor Steve Adler, have written Governor Greg Abbott a letter. They're asking him for the power to require masks at the local level to slow the spread of COVID-19. They say the one-size-fits-all approach the state is taking is not the best option. They say local leaders should be the ones who make choices about health policy. We'll let you know if and when the governor responds.